Hey there YouTube, this is Mr. Evil Joey coming to you with a uh, deck profile. I know I haven't made a video in a while and there's a few many different reasons for that that I'm not really going to get into. Uh, but yeah, so I'm sorry about that, but I'm going to try to post up some new deck profiles um, in pretty rapid order uh, because I've got some new decks coming in so I figured I could post up some of those uh, but this is I'm going to go over the deck that I took to um, the Chicago Regional um, and I'll go over why I played certain cards and yeah and why I change I haven't changed anything yet, even though it's been a while, but this is I'll go over why I would change. Um so the starter was Blackboard Parrot. Uh, a lot of people told me that I should go with the pencil koala, which I have a copy of, uh, and that was the original starter, but I was just like, hey, I never used pencil koala's effect. It seems actually a pretty good effect. Uh it's just another Coiling Duck Bill, so and Coiling Duck Bill is a really good card, so I went with Parrot um, for grade threes. We have the Tester Fox Legion, and then we went with four Big Belly. Uh, I kind of want to change it just because. I don't like Big Belly very much, but I don't know exactly what to change it for. Um, a lot of people have suggested the Break Ride, um, Break Ride or Tusk Master. Thing is, like the Break Ride. I mean, I kind of just want to put this thing out like right away and not worry too much. Uh, so at least this thing has late game use. This thing has. This has all game use, so it's not like I'm. I want to really wait to be playing this. Like, I just want to play it right as soon as I get it. But this thing at least has some late game use if I absolutely have to use it. So yeah, I kind of want to change it, but I don't know exactly what to change it for. Um, maybe Leopold, I don't know. Uh, but it has some late game use, so that's why it's still in there. Uh, grid twos, we have four copies of our Legion mate because when, it, when you're in Legion and he dies at the end of the turn, you just get to search another one, which is really freaking awesome. So you're just always searching and recycling and all that crazy stuff. It's just really good uh, for Crane Tigers because it's Crane Tiger. This card. And then I went with for my final three twos, three set square penguin. Um, it's another coining duck bill. It's a generation break one coining duck bill that unflips as well. Uh, the unflip doesn't really come into play very often, just because I'm constantly unflipping things to Tester Fox in the perfect guards. Um, but yeah, uh, so that doesn't always matter but the more draws is always nice and for great ones for perfect guards for stride enablers because you always you bait you want to stride every turn except for the turn that you're legion because once you get into legion you're set because the legion effect goes off at the end of the turn after your strides already left the field so your legion returns back to being in legion and then all your things die and you get the legion effect so i mean except for the turn that you legion you always want to be in stride um next we have four coiling duck bill like i keep saying coiling duck bills are a really great card and then 
from break ones we have two taping cap because sopas I I just really needed a way to get cards out of soul. That's really the reason I play this instead of an 8k vanilla. I know a lot of people like 8k vanillas right here. I really needed just some way to get cards out of soul. Cause there's some cards that if they get trapped in your soul, which is kind of really just kind of ruins your day. It's not the best card, but it's a good card. Uh, triggers we have 12 critical triggers. Um, I know I'll put like uh, 8 crit for draw. I have enough draws thanks to the um, total of basic total of 8 coin duck bills and tester fox gets me draws big belly if I use it gets me draws um, the, so everything draws cards or searches cards crane tiger gets me draws so I never really had a problem with car number of cards in hand um, so yeah I just never had a problem with number of cards in hand um, so yeah, and then finally four heels. Um, so I made it to round six at Chicago before I lost. Um, as I get my strides ready. Um, so overall, I did pretty good. I lost in round two to Perditions when I just the only rear guard I got was a single copy of Crane Tiger. Uh, so that really sucked, um, just because I couldn't play my game. It's not like he's going to return my shit anyway, I return my own shit. Um, and then in round six, I lost to an all mile um, World Paladin build, um, which um, it's not the only reason I lost, but a good part of the reason I lost that is because I just severely misplayed. Um, he still had the upper hand, but I could have held on a little bit longer and probably potentially made a comeback if I hadn't misplayed. So yeah, so anyway, strides. Yeah, four. Magnet armor. Um, so yeah, uh, I probably would cut two. Um, and put in a blizzard and a madu, but I was like, hey, just not gonna bother doing that right now. Um, at the event, I was kind of focused on getting my final crits and replacing my stands. I had plenty of time to, after I did that, to replace it, but I was like, uh, I'm probably never going to make them that much anyway. I don't make him very often, and I probably won't have made the Blizzard and Madu very often, uh, because I almost always go into this. Um, this is Phoenix Clad, Phoenix Clax. Uh, because it kills your stuff, so you have your you have your tester fox. You shot into him. He boosts two things uh, and kills under, and then goes away and kills those two things in your fa in phase, and you get your legion effect. So you're almost always going into this thing. This thing's just incredible. Um, I don't like the wisdom tower because it's an on hit to get something an on hit. Um, so it's like really not very good um in, in my personal opinion it's not very good because on hits to give something an on hit is just kind of terrible um and so I if I were to cut two it would be for Blizzard and Madu I still probably won't use them very much anyway but that's what I'd be doing so yeah that's the deck let me know your suggestions what you think um, any questions you have, I've, I'll have more decks coming out soon, I'm just waiting for a lot of the final cards to come into the mail, um, decks we're talking about are, uh, Machining, Angel Feathers, and, uh, Nova Grafter Grade 2 Rush, um, so yeah, uh, I'll have those up soon hopefully so yeah till then bye youtube